Hi, my name is Nathan, and today we're going to do a comic book review of Silk, issue number four. Brought to you by Rated Comics. Now let's get to it. We end off with the previous issue with Cindy Moon going into this abandoned Manhattan office building, and she comes across with Silvermane. Saya is she's father, and she is shocked, and Silvermane's like, what? It's clear where she gets her good looks from, from her daddy. As a father, I can agree with that. Pull up a chair, it's a long story. So he breaks down the story how many years ago in Japan, he went on a business trip that turned into pleasure, which led into the eventual Sayashi's mother. And, you know, he tries to tell, you know, that the business turned into a little bit of pleasure if you get my drift. And Cindy Moon's like, drift noted, move along, please. But the boys want to hear the details. But we do got to keep the story moving. Meanwhile, back where Saya is today, we see that this demon cat is resurrecting a demon cod, and Saya is she is not having it. No way! And I can't believe the demon cat's name is Kasha. You know, is plotting to destroy the world when she agreed to help me take over all the gangs and queens. So now we back, we flash back to the past, and we see Saya is she's mother raising her, and Silvermane saying most women in. Her and Saya's mother's position would have been shamed by her circumstances, but you know, she made sure her daughter persevered and excelled in everything. But she was more of a nerd than anything, like a tech nerd. Back at the cave, though, we see Saya confronting the demon cat. Saya is like, Well, who's your pal? Excuse me, I mean, your master, referring to the demon god. And the demon cat's like, Man, show some respect, you know. And you know, Saya, I love her sarcasm here. I'm sure he's as old as time, but I really don't feel compelled to, uh, you know, because you know, you're working for me. And then they have this dialogue and she's like, the demon cat's like, I ain't working for you. And she says, well, my payroll says otherwise. You killed those criminals for me. And then she uses her cell phones to control these drones that shoot with an arrow at demon cat. Pretty sick move, home girl. Back in the past though, we see Saya and she, uh, she's a teenage size, 16 years old, and we see her father, Silvermane, with like a hook and a wheelchair and a, and a leg missing, telling her mom, hey, you know, I need your help. And she's like, well, I want you to beg first. And <laughs> Silvermane's pride is like, I'm not gonna allow it. You gotta give me the pieces to make me whole again. And her mother says, fine, I'll see what I can do, but only for Saya's sake. And I'm like, you haven't even met your daughter at this point. And then he says, well, yeah, Cindy Moon is like, well, how did uh, your daughter react to all this news? And she's like, and Silvermane says, by refusing to meet or talk to me, you can't make Saya do anything she doesn't want to do. Back in the cave, more stuff is going down, and these drones are doing damage. According to this, it just highlights to show you how much of a genius and brilliant this girl is. Demon Cat's like, okay, I I'm done with this. Enough of it. You're ready to be schooled, little girl. Then we go into a flashback of Saya. She graduating for college, and her do and her father. It's like, hey, you go on a plane in New York, I want you to be an intern at my company. And, she, and it's kind of funny, she looks at her mom like, mom, you know this is bull drive, right? And her mom is like, it's just for the summer. It's like, oh, you guys set me up, I hate you both. And then I'll save this part right here for when you guys read the book, but it just shows that whatever she did with her father's company, she excelled in everything. But now back in the fight with Demon Cat, the drone gets caught up and, and even Demon Cat's like, you're worthy of your poem, but you know what? You're lazy otherwise. Spoiled and disrespectful and, he, and the tables have flipped. And then I guess she does like a sonic boom battery charge or whatnot. And he's like, man, what happened when your toys run out of batteries? And Saya's like, look, man, I am the better. I guess I have to kill you then. Meanwhile, we show that Saya's <laughs> father's funeral and he faked his own death for his own reasons. And it's kind of cool how the writers went back and forth how Cindy Moon took a back seat because this is her story, this is her comic, but now we get more of a, a backstory of Saya Shi and what the motivations were there and, and more about who she is. But as things get, as the story, as Silverman ends the story with Cindy Moon telling her how the story and the history of his daughter, he's like, well, for insurance, I can't have you typing away. I need you to stay away because she's trying to fulfill my legacy. You know, she can't reveal that she's silk at this point, so she runs away, and these guys are like, oh, the pepper spray, it's always a paper bait, don't be embarrassed. And then they made a comment like, you're pretty nimble for a desk job, but what can I say? I work out, I do CrossFit. And Silvermane's like, maybe she's a match for Saya after all. 
Now she web slings her way back home and she's thinking to herself, well, does Silvermane know that I'm Silk? He can't know that I'm Silk. If he knows, then they'll be waiting for me at home. So when she gets home, well, you know what? All things seem to normal. And yeah, I guess he doesn't know that she's Silk after all. But you know who knows who's Silk? Sil that Sydney Moon is Silk is Saya. And when she goes into her room, there she is waiting and this seems like they have to, she, Cindy Moon has to make a decision of her life. And I got to say, it's cool when a character, can, many character can take a backseat so you can know more of a backstory of the villain or the, or the other character. And it was interesting, it was cool, I was entertained. Yeah, this was really a really fun read and I can't wait for the next issue to come out and see how this plays out. With that being said, Silk number four. What'd you guys think of the comic? Comment below, let me know. If you haven't gotten a copy of your comic, go ahead and get your copy of the comic. Link in description. If you like the content we're throwing up, you know what to do. And for more comic book related content and comic book reviews with the occasional comic book giveaways, yeah, now you already know what to do. Thanks again for watching. Until next time.